Al Alma Plaza, Agadir. It is here that the 270 competitors began their Olivia Rally of Morocco. After a short connection, they head to the Super Special of 7Ks to open the rally. Ideal to get their head in the race, but it was just an appetizer. The most popular on Al Alma Plaza was surely Nasa Alatia. The Qatari is a big star here. Even the mayor of Agadir was eager to come to say good luck to the winner of the last two editions. Always smiling, Alatia is firstly a predator on the track. He got the scratch in 4 minutes 41 with his Toyota and already takes the lead. The Hilux is definitely in the pace. Nani Roma succeeded to take the third time, 20 seconds behind Alatia. A good start also for the Spaniard. Between them, many remind us that they are the winners of the last three editions with the skillful Mikko Hervonen. The Finn sends a message that he's able to fight for the victory. Peugeot is just behind with Carlos Sainz taking the fourth place with his brand new 3008 DKR. Cyril Dupree is sixth. Despite a little fear, Jacob Prignoski is seventh. On bikes, everyone was looking in the direction of Toby Price. The last winner of the Dakar assumed his crown, finishing first with the only time below five minutes of the Super Special. Second, Pablo Quintanilla on Husqvarna won't let him take too big an advantage. He is defending his leading in the World Championship. The former winner of the Olivia Rally of Morocco, Sam Sunderland on KTM is third, only 10 seconds behind. He is followed by Paolo Concaves on Honda and Javier Destutre on Yamaha. All the favorites are at the top of the standing. But there is not only the top of the list in Rally Raid, which is one of the few sports where amateurs can ride in amongst the professionals. Among them there are always nice stories to tell. This one deserves much admiration. Philippe Croison, a quadruple amputee, decided to start Rally Raid. A new challenge for this hero, who is famous to have crossed the English Channel swimming. All competitors have set off for 1,885 kilometers, that includes 1,317 kilometers of selective sectors. An adventure for everyone, and a challenge for the organizers who make a point of treating everybody equally. After this prologue, the big race really gets going on Monday with a stage divided in two. Not too long at just 120 kilometers, but a real first test. <laughs>